Hey folks, Chris Waters here, and we are checking out DJ Hero. I got my man Will Townsend here, producer on the DJ Hero series. What's up, Will? Good to see you, Mr. Waters. Glad to have you and your turntable here, man. We're going to take an in-depth look at this thing, so Will, get us started with some of the basics. Well, here's what we got, Chris. This is the DJ Hero turntable controller. All right. I've got three platter buttons right here that represent the three streams I'll see on screen. Now I can boom, boom, and tap them. Or I can zook a zook them oh. by holding them down and, and, and scratching back and forth. It's really pretty awesome. I like the lingo. You do? Good touch. I learned it from Grandmaster Flash. Look at you. He's a Grandmaster. <laughs> All right. And then over here, I've got the ability to use my crossfader, mm -hmm. which lets me go and emphasize record number one, record number two, or both streams if it's in the middle. I have an effects dial I can use that allows me to add a whammy bar-like effect during gameplay. Right. And then last up, that's my euphoria button. If I complete a tricky section, it allows me to fire that off and make the crowd go crazy. Go wild. All right, so when you're actually playing this thing, what does it kind of look like? You got it down on the table, you got your hands where? Show us, show us how this thing in action. You got it. So uh, what I like to do is keep my thumb on the outside, one finger on each of the buttons, and I use sort of an eagle's claw attack. Okay. We don't want to get, use that gets at all, you in we? there. No, caca's good. It and then, you, yep. you, so you, you're zooka zookaing. I am zooka zookaing. So I can I can press those buttons, and that'll allow me to keep up with the rhythm. Mm -hmm. I can also press and hold, and that'll allow that zooka zooka that we've been talking about. So that's the scratching, right? Uh huh. When people say, "What does a DJ do?" Everybody does this. That's what they're doing. Wha wha they do. Yeah. They, yeah, you can insert your own. Mine, I like wiki wiki. Okay. And then over here, uh, I keep a hand on the, on the crossfader at all times. Because mm -hmm. when you're playing it at an expert level like myself, um, you got to be ready to stab fade. Back just and, like and it helps if you move your head as well, I've found. It keeps me in the, in the mode. Yeah, bopping. Right. My left hand can also pop up here very easily to the mm -hmm. effect style to spin that around. And then I can fire this off. Now, if I'm playing in a club-like environment, this actually lights up. And we'll oh yeah, so you know when it's time to kick off the Euphoria. You bet. And what's the in-game effect of Euphoria, real quick? Well, it does a couple different things. One thing is it, it, uh, it gives a bigger base effect. And then uh, it also doubles your score. So uh, all of your, your, your fans out there, if they're achievement-oriented, I think that's the new PC term. Oh yeah. That's going to be their favorite button. That's a good one to know. Mm -hmm. All right, now talk to me about this, uh, the effects pedal. Like what, what sort of effects are you bringing and how does that, how does that work? Twist it, yeah. That's right. It's, it's exactly like that. It's a, it's a twisting motion, yeah. thusly. Um, it does different things. So before I jump into my set list, I can pick out a sample pack, and that'll allow me to, when I'm not using my effect style, I can use use it like this. Uh huh. Mm, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't yep. it? When yep. I'm not using when my effect When you're not using style. it, you use it to select <clears throat> from a list of samples that you can then insert into the tracks? That's correct. Absolutely right. Well, how do you, how do, you do that? How do you, how do you jump those in there? So uh, I will pick them out beforehand, and then when the streams are coming down, see this red button right here? Yeah. There'll be special sections that say I can fire off my samples at any time by spamming that red button if I want to. Okay. Now, I'd, I'd love to see it in action. Can we do that? Yeah, let's, let's get some gameplay. Let's spin this up. Let's, uh, let's see you spin and, and tap and zooka, all that stuff. You want zooka zooka and boom boom tap yes. in the same place. If, if, if you can bring that, please bring it. Here you go. So this is the tap section, yes? These are taps, yep. And here's a little boom boom. The crossfade just happened where I was. So the crossfade is, it sort of dog legs out to the right, or juts out there and then comes back and you gotta, you gotta not just send it out, but bring it back. Right, exactly. That keeps you on the rhythm, it keeps both of the records being emphasized. Here's some scribble uh -huh. scratches. Okay, got the scribble scratch. Now this is glowing section. That means you're euphoria mode. So I can fire it off. Now by pushing the uh, euphoria button. Yep. Boom. Boom. Well, hey, Will, thanks so much for bringing this by. DJ Hero's looking great. If you want to know more about DJ Hero, check out our exclusive preview on the site.